I had to run out and get some groceries, so I thought I would just pull over in the parking lot here quick. I, I found this kind of picturesque church, thought it was a nice background motif, while I talked about the Irishman briefly. If you haven't seen The Irishman and you're on Netflix perusing the catalog and, and that poster keeps coming up for it, you may be kind of worried about the runtime. It's three and a half hours. Martin Scorsese, his movies are never short, but three and a half hours, that's a long investment. Um, for, for a single length movie. For a lot of people saying Martin Scorsese already answers the question for you. He's done some of the greatest movies of all time. And this film once again brings back a lot of those actors who were in said films. You have uh, Al Pacino. You have Robert De Niro. You have Joe Pesci. You have even Anna Paquin's in this. I had no idea she was. And I think she doesn't say more than maybe three lines of dialogue, but, but uh, you know, it's cool she's in the film. I like her. And I myself and many others have dedicated tens of hundreds of hours to other TV series, from Breaking Bad to Game of Thrones. So three and a half hours in the grand scheme of things isn't really a big deal. But still, at the end of the day, time is money. Your time is valuable. You want to use it in the right department. And I do think Irishman is worth your time. And it's possibly even worth your time over and over again. It was the holidays at my house, Thanksgiving, we had birthdays to celebrate, so I didn't have a ton of free time to sit down and watch this movie, let alone anything. Um, it wasn't until like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock I think some nights, that I started this. And it took me three days, I think, three nights to finish it. So it was basically an hour a night, a little bit more than that. And uh, that, that, was, that was actually really good for me. Somehow it reminded me of Kill Bill, I guess in the fact that I felt like they could have split this into a volume one and volume two and gave us two hour and a half digestible portions, or hour and 45, and then it would have been maybe easier to digest for people, or even gone for broke and said, hey, this is a an eight to 10 hour mini series. It's just a season of The Irishman. I would have loved that too. There's just something about three and a half hours that scares people, even in including myself. That said, The Three Nights was a good watch for me. I wouldn't say I was ever really captivated enough to stay up till two in the morning to finish it on night one or night two even. I was very content and comfortable throughout. And I think that's because the movie itself had this kind of melancholy feel to it you know, we're, we're talking about veterans in the industry, everybody behind the camera to in front of the camera. They're very comfortable in their roles. You have Pesci, who's doing a very uh, downplayed performance. He's very low-key in this thing. I'm used to Pesci from Casino, um, you know, from as Leo gets in, in the Lethal Weapon series, larger-than-life character is very characteristic. He's got a charm to him. He's likable, even though he's a very unlikable person. And I should, I should note that The Irishman is actually based on true events. It takes place during the Nixon era. It takes place during the, the Carter era. It, it spans, you know, 70, 80 years of Frank's life. Frank is played by Robert De Niro. He's a soldier turned mobster who is willing to do basically whatever he has to to make his bosses happy. It's amazing. I wanted to do a quick review here, and it's not going fast for me at all. I, I thought I'd be able to quickly talk about The Irishman, because not a lot really happens, yet now that I think back, quite a bit does. And I think it's because everything is so understated. From the, from the gunshots to the face, to disposing of weapons, to the fact that um, Frank is a pretty piss-poor father. There's trials, there's betrayal, there, there's a lot of stuff you expect in a mob movie. Here, though, it just it feels like a swan song for a lot of these players. And I, I want to talk about, you know, De Niro obviously did a fantastic job. He, he's very downplayed in his role. Everybody kind of is, except for Al Pacino as Jimmy Hoffa, who he's, he's just, every time he's on screen, the, the energy just pumps up a little bit. He's pretty over the top, but, but not for Pacino. He's pretty over the top compared to everybody else. Still grounded for Pacino, which is saying a lot. These car side reviews I'm doing aren't supposed to be highbrow expertise breakdowns of films. I'm just giving you quick thoughts and reactions after I saw the movie. So I finished it last night. I'm in my car. I'm just quickly talking about things and whether or not I think it's worth your time to watch. And I absolutely do. I don't think you need to watch it beginning to end. I know some people I've seen have said you need to watch this all the way through at once. I don't, I don't know why. You know, as long as you're 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 keeping up with things and you're understanding character motivations and, and why they're doing the things they are. And that time is passing and jumping around a lot. We are getting a lot of 
you know, we're in the future, now we're in the past, now we're even further back than that. So if you can just keep up with that, I don't see a problem treating this more like a TV series than a movie. And I don't think it's disrespectful in that, in that essence either, as long as you're getting what the director wants and the writers want you to get out of this. Story aside, of course it's shot beautifully. There's the de-aging technology on De Niro that I think is seamless, honestly. I, I thought it was <laughs> amazingly handled. The only thing that put me off a little bit from scene to scene was the blue eyes on De Niro I thought were a bit overdone. I don't know if he's wearing contacts. I don't know if it was just, the, you know, the CG popping him more. That was distracting. Otherwise, everything else I thought was just incredibly well done. From the score, to the acting, to the filming, it felt like a movie. A Netflix movie that's actually good. I know people liked Roma. That wasn't for me, but th this one just, it felt big budget. It had class to it, it had style, it had Scorsese. If you're looking for that mob movie like Casino, or like, you know, some of these newer age films, these TV shows even, you're you're not gonna get those spectacles. I didn't I didn't have one moment in the movie where I was like, oh my god, he's he's bashing this guy's brain against a wall, or you know, like a Joker scene. There's none of that. There are plenty of like shots to the face and and you know drive-bys and stuff, but none of it feels uh, over overboard. None of it's extreme. It's all handled just so nonchalantly almost. It's definitely intentional that this movie isn't trying to drop your jaw. As I'm sitting here talking about this, I guess I'm appreciating it more and more as the minutes tick on. I would I would absolutely watch it again. You know, I could see this being one that I that I put back on every year or so, every couple years and just appreciate these actors and, and the story and you know some of the history that I didn't know about or was just naive to because there there's importance in this film. There's there's like I said a kind of a a send-off to this film that I think everybody should see, especially fans of, you know, Scorsese's work. I don't think it's his best movie, but I think it's probably one of his most important. Bottom line, this is easily worth the stream for me. I highly suggest you watch this, and I'd love to hear, if you saw it already, your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, subscribe if you like what I'm doing here with these little car side reviews. I do have bigger, grander shows like Movie Feuds, where I debate two films. It's, it's scripted, it's shot with a little bit more excitement than being in my car and uh, hopefully I'll see you next time on the show. Take care.